That's right. B-17 bomber in the barn. Okay, well, in this video, you're going to look at me walking around a legitimate barn, or at least it was at one time, in Illinois that's now holding a B-17 bomber that's going to be fully restored in just a few years. Uh, they said about 10 years, and uh, should be interesting to say the least. I've been going to it and checking up on its progress over the last five years, and they've been able to get a lot accomplished in that time. So, take a look. All right, here I am in Illinois looking at, uh, that is a farm field. I think it's soybean. And then, uh, my car, my friend, a little miniature railway, corn, and then there's this big barn. And, uh, huh, B-17 Flying Fortress only. I wonder what could be in the barn. That's right, B-17 bomber in the barn. This is Desert Rat. You can look it up online. It's famous. And uh, it's being restored here in, outside of Marengo. It's fine. It's slowly being restored. It's got a really cool history. It's in a junkyard in Maine. It's a very rare B-17E tall tail. I'll show you the tail here in a second. There's parts of it up there. But they've been restoring it for a little bit. Here's some pictures of it when it was in the yard where they pulled it out of. That's an original B-17 instrument panel. And then uh, here we go. There, you can see they're rebuilding part of the fuselage, or well, actually the entire thing in the end. And there's part of the original tail. Original numbers. And then just walking down here. He, the gentleman's also a big model guy. So there's all the airplane models. And this is a tall tail. Which I'll show you the tail in the, the finished tail in the back, but um, it's the only remaining tall tail model in the world. And what happened was the originals, when they were built, uh, they would break off in certain cir circumstances. So they went to a shorter tail. And this is an early uh, E model, so it still has the original tall tail. Looking down, you can see there. So we rebuilt the entire thing. And you see, this is how they rebuild like a wing structure with a thousand Klinkos. And then that's where the tail attaches. There's a finished part of the wing. And there is one of the wings. Oh yeah, hold on. There are two of the engines for the plane. And then we'll go walk over here and see some propellers. There's more parts of the wing that are finished. There's one of the propellers. There's another one. A whole bunch of air tanks. And this is where the gunner mount, this is where the tail gunner is and it's over our, I'll show you that in a second. But you can currently see all the way through the airplane. Gives you an idea how long it is. You're gonna go? Yeah. Stan, don't leave me, my friend. Well, I figured if you had to go to the bank, I figured. Yeah, that's true. All right, all right I'll see you that. at the show in a little bit. Right. Here is the tail gunner location. That sure does look real. I mean, how often do you see the inside of a... Oh, the, that right there is the original side cladding for this airplane. 
These are the original wings. You can see they, being in the junkyard, was not kind to them. That's, I think, an original World War II Jeep shell. It's got a little, like, Cessna. And then there's more, there's more engines over here. More parts of the original fuselage. There's, I think, the Jeep chassis. More engines. I'll show you. The, here's the other wing. It's been more disassembled for rebuilding. And yeah, there's more parts. There's extra cylinders and look at all those original boxes. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm six foot tall and this thing towers over me. Absolutely incredible. Oh, and then here, we actually walked past this before. A World War II German submarine model. Looks like it's at the bottom of a lake. Really neat little piece of history. But yeah. Thought you guys would like to see this. That's not my usual, you know, thing, but can't go wrong with a B-17 bomber in a barn. I hope you guys enjoyed that little walk around of the B-17 bomber that's been, that is being restored in the barn over here in Illinois. If you want to look up more information on that, you can uh, go into the comments below or the description below. It will say, uh, it's called Desert Rat. I say it in the, the video. I also, like I said, put the links below. But if you have any questions or comments, of course, uh, let me know in the comments below or any of my social media, which is, of course is linked just about everywhere. Talk to you all soon. Be safe. Be healthy. Bye.